And now look at the national picture. Even as daily vaccination rates have soared across the country, new daily cases have started to tick up. Federal health officials say the nation is still at risk of another surge. CBS 4's Natalie Brand reports from the White House. In less than two weeks, President Biden wants all states to make all adults eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine if they haven't already done so. And while getting a vaccine appointment is still a concern in some places, federal health officials stress that is changing. There was a gap between supply and demand, and literally every day that goes by, if that gap is closing. The updated vaccine timeline comes as many states have lifted COVID restrictions and daily new cases have started to climb. This fight isn't over. In Michigan, which leads the nation in new cases, Governor Gretchen Whitmer got her shot Tuesday. The CDC found the B117 variant that originated in the UK accounted for nearly 40% of Michigan's cases last month. The B117 variant is now the most common lineage circulating in the United States. The Biden administration says it does not plan to mandate a vaccine passport system, but federal health officials say they expect businesses and universities to take action on their own. They're going to say, we're not going to have you come in unless you get vaccinated. You're not going to see that from a federal government mandate. At least eight colleges have already said they'll require vaccinations for students returning to campus this fall. In K through 12 schools, the CDC estimates nearly 80% of teachers and school staff have received at least one dose of the vaccine. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House. Well, the CDC says it's hearing reports of clusters of cases associated with daycare centers and youth sporting events. Hospitals are seeing an increase in adults ages 30 and to 40 admitted with severe disease.